Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I have a video of all things Dakota. I'm gonna be doing a couple of unboxings, sharing with you some Dakotathon swag that I got and you can get too, and uh, that some of our sponsors are doing uh, giveaways for. And speaking of giveaways, I have not forgotten the drawing from our second live with Dakota Dateweiler. Um, I do have our four prize recipients ready to go and announce to you today. So stick around. It's going to be a fun video. If you are new here, hi, I'm Kara. Welcome, welcome. I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos from me. And uh, I go live tonight at 6 central. Everybody's welcome. All right, let's get into the painter's place and see what I got for you. See you in there. We are back in the painter's place. I have a couple of unboxings of uh, Dakota's uh, DAC paintings. These are not going to be in-depth unboxings or we will be here for 12 hours. I'm going to show you the canvases, which is what everyone is mostly interested in. Um, show you the drills quickly. I'm uh, not going to go through, through everything, but I will tell you where to go for uh, in-depth unboxings of these two should you want to see them. The first. Dakota I've got is none other than Tiger on a Rock. And since mine is not going to be a detailed unboxing, uh, Mary Making Crafts did a sneak peek on this. So check out her channel. She is awesome. Um, got a lot of great stuff going on on that channel here. So let's see what we got. I have so much to tell you today. I'm so excited. All right. As we pull items out of the box, we do have a toolkit. It comes with extra sussies, that sort of thing. Like I said, not going to be an in-depth unboxing. Here is the logbook sticker. You can peel this off, put it on your craft table, on the side of your box, should you want to um, designate what's in the box, if you store them in the box. And I've started storing mine in the box. These paintings do come in an awesome dust bag. Um, DAC is always awesome with quality. And let me roll this one back. I have not seen either one of these in person. I have been dying to unbox them. You know I'm a huge Dakota Dateweiler fan. Okay. These canvases are absolutely awesome. They're self-flattening, um, scalloped and surged edge to protect fraying. Um, if you've never purchased a uh, Diamond Art Club. I am an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. You can use the code PAINTER10 to get $10 off your first purchase with Diamond Art Club. Uh, but this is Tiger on a Rock. Uh, both of the paintings I am going to unbox for you are recent releases. You do get a welcome pamphlet. You do get a sticker sheet. This, is, uh, this painting has 47 colors. It is a round diamond painting and it is a great size, 55.8 by 55.8. I am sad to tell you that both of the paintings I'm going to show you today are currently out of stock at DAC, but neither one of them were limited edition, which means they will be coming back at some point. So make sure that if you want one of these, you put down, um, there's a button underneath uh, that you can hit to get notified via email when they do come back and they do notify you. All right. These are all individual stickers uh, that you can pull off and put on your containers, the title, the artist. Uh, Dakota Dateweiler is legally licensed through Diamond Art Club, as are all of their artists. And you have a look at that image. Oh, and I will show you goodness. Look at the greens in that color palette. I'm just going to show you the drills in the bag to save some time here. Uh, you do have in this particular, wow, five ABs, five in this particular painting. That is awesome, but those greens are just vivid. I'm sure you can see them through the bag, but let me show you the canvas. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. The rendering on this is, per look at the look on that tiger's face and look at the elephants in the background and you can see the baby elephant in the front. I love it. And look at the size. I love this size. Uh, it's completely doable. Um, this would be one if you wanted to do it for uh, Dakotathon, you could. It is Dakotathon, uh, for those of you not familiar, it is a two-month event. It starts April 1st. 
It goes through April and through May. Uh, it is a two month event since some of her canvases are very large. The next one I'm gonna unbox is larger. Um, but oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. The symbols for the ABs are one, two, three, four, and five. I'm already seeing fives throughout here. There are some fives in this beautiful bird. There are fours, which appear to be gray in these elephants. There are fours in the tiger face. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I love this one. Um, I see some two ABs up here in the trees. Like I said, this is not going to be a detailed unboxing, so we won't be here for 10 hours. Where are my ones? One appears to, oh, okay. Ones are in the trees as well. So ones and twos are scattered throughout the foliage in these trees. Um, there's some twos down here. I don't see any ABs in this tree. There's some ones in this little tree. Uh, like I said, there's some fives in the birds. There's a two for the bird's eye and some two in the greenery over here. There are also twos down in this corner. So you're gonna have ABs, a good bit of it sprinkled throughout this canvas, but I wanted you to see it. Like I said, Mary Making Crafts, if you want a more detailed unboxing of this, that is where you need to go because she did a great job on her sneak peek. I love the greens in this. I mean, I'm just looking at the colors and they're just, oh, they're fantastic. <gasps> yay, yay, yay. I'm excited for this one. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. And I love the rendering. It's, it's absolutely stunning. All right, let me roll this one up and let's get to the next one. The next one, woo. I almost missed the next one. I mean, seriously missed it. Uh, as most of you know who follow me in any form or fashion, um, my aunt uh, passed away last week and we were on our way to the funeral and my aunt was a big crafter so I know that she was cheering me on uh, to get this one but I was talking to Marlon, you know, about just memories of my aunt and stuff and I missed, totally missed the first round of the release of this and this was gone both times in under five minutes. Uh, the second time I was ready and I got it, it is Glass Mermaid. If you would like a detailed unboxing on Glass Mermaid, and for those of you that are new, I do do detailed unboxings. It's just I have so much to show today. Um, I don't have, or you guys don't have the time and don't want to be here for 12 hours. So um, Diamonds and Washi, Katie, did a fantastic job of unboxing this as a DAC sneak peek. She has also completed this. And it is absolutely beautiful completed. I will be contacting Tina at DP with Sparklers to enhance this one. I've already talked to Cheryl who works with her at DP with Sparklers and I said, I will be contacting you for some advice on what to do and what sparklers to purchase with uh, for this one. I'll be replacing some of the drills, but the end product on this, and uh, I've seen Katie's pictures, Diamonds and Washi, it absolutely looks beautiful. The markings uh, you can see on here, they kind of look uh, a little bit different. It's like, why does she have those markings on her skin? The reason why this piece is called Glass Mermaid is because Dakota Dateweiler painted this on four separate panes of glass. And I got to see the video on it and it was fascinating. The mermaid herself is on the back piece of glass. There's another piece of glass in front of it with some sea life and some plant life. The third piece of glass, more sea life and plant life and the uh, front piece of glass the same. So she layered the effect of um, this particular piece and it is absolutely stunning. So what you're seeing on her back and on her face um, is the reflection of the light. And it also, in this, looks like the reflection of the water. So that's what that is all about. It is a square diamond painting. Oh, I cannot wait to see this. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops, drop the toolkit on the floor. You know what's in the toolkit. Okay, that's it. Here is your logbook sticker. Like I said, uh, it's a smaller sticker. You do get you do get a toolkit. I will look at that. Let me take a peek and see. You get washi tape and a cover minder in here. Just gotta see what I got. I can't stand it. Cannot stand it. Oh, that's cute. My washi tape has unicorns and rainbows on it. How fun is that? All right, what does my cover minder look like? Oh, cute. It is a pink flower. 
It kind of goes with the washi tape. That is adorable. Your washi tape and your cover minder will be different in all of these toolkits. And you get everything else that you need to diamond paint. You get your tray, you get your funnel, uh, squishy for diamond painting comfort. And also because this is a square diamond painting, you do get a pair of branded Diamond Art Club tweezers. Please keep the sheath on. They are pointy stabby and do not poke your eyeball out. All right, so that is your toolkit. For those of you that might not have seen it, again, these paintings come in a dust bag. I'm going fast, Marlon. I'm going fast. He's looking at me like, oh my gosh, you've got so much to show. I do. All right, let's roll this back. Um, I used to store my diamond paintings um, hanging up, and now I put them back in the boxes. I do not put them back in the dust uh, bags, but some people do, and you certainly can. Um, just don't rip the dust bag like I normally do. All right, again, these are tarpaulin. The canvas type is called tarpaulin. The back is very buttery and soft. And it's very pliable and it is self-flattening. You do not have to even roll these back. You can just lay them flat and they'll self-flatten within a matter of minutes. I'm just trying to speed up the process here. All right, let's look at this. Put this in my lap. Pamphlet, sticker, here is a bigger image of that glass mermaid. Oh, I'm so excited I got this. I went back like three minutes after I bought it and it was gone, 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 gone. But fortunately it was not a limited edition, which means um, if Diamond Art Club labels a painting limited edition, it means once it's gone, it's gone. Um, but this one um, was not, so it will be coming back. This one, again, five A, Bs, five, count them, 103, 108, 119, 140, and 141. For those of you wondering what an A, B drill is, if the DMC code on the right-hand side of these columns is under the uh, number 150, it will be an A, B. Kara, what is an A, B drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on specific drills in these kits that capture facets of light and color from the drills around it and the environment and just makes them all together now shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. 53 colors. Wow. Uh, and again, this whole entire thing is a sticker. And you can look. Oh, I'm already seeing an AB. Woohoo! And you can even see it through the plastic. Look at that coating. That is um, an example of an AB drill. That is 103. That is a red. Um, these bags of drills are labeled in case you store your drill separately from your paintings, which I used to do. Look at these colors. They are absolutely stunning pinks and purples and all kinds of blues because she's in the water. Here is another AB. Oh, two more ABs. You're getting a bonus here because I wasn't even going to take them out of the plastic, but I don't have to. 108. Can they see the coating on it? 108 through that plastic. That is an AB drill. And you can, you can pick them out really. I mean, you can just look at them and tell um, here is a blue color that is also an AB, but that color palette is unbelievable. Oh, how big is this thing? I can't wait. This is a horizontal image. Oh, my Lanta. Ah, uh, I've been waiting to open this one. I had to see her. Oh, Dakota Dateweiler and Diamond Art Club have done it again. <gasps> She's stunning. She is absolutely stunning. And I have to admit, I did not know how these... Um, splashes of light on her back and on her face were going to turn out but when I saw Katie Diamonds and Washi's completed image it is you can tell exactly what it is it is spectacular 53 colors five ABs unbelievable um You've got, uh, I didn't tell you on the other canvas, your canvas is branded at the top with the Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle, and their motto, Do What Makes You Sparkle. At the bottom, in the left-hand corner, you have the dimensions. This is a 65 by 65. Again, it is not that big. I think this is the exact size of Eden that I did. It looks like that size, doesn't it, Marlon? Mm -hmm. It looks about the same size. So, oh, I cannot wait to do this one. She's beautiful. Um, it does have the title in the left-hand corner, the dimension 65 by 65 centimeter, the artist and Diamond Art Club, and it does show that Dakota D Dateweiler is licensed. In the middle is their social media information, and on the right-hand bottom side, you have 100% guarantee on all of these canvases. Oh, oh my. 
it's like I, I just I want to start it right now <laughs> oh gosh you've got her and her beautiful hair yeah, I'm going to be calling Cheryl, Cheryl and Tina going, okay, DP with sparklers, uh, let's start looking at this and start getting some bling bling going on this. Wow. Your symbols for your ABs on this one are one, two, three, four, and a dot. That's the 141. 141 is a white AB that's very popular uh, with Diamond Art Club. Um, it captures all the colors. I mean, I just can't even describe it. You've got the dots and these bubbles in this. Um, she really likes these lionfish. Uh, I'm doing Dreaming of Being Human right now. It's got a lionfish in it. And if you look at some of her other mermaid pictures, um, she likes lionfish, which is great. I think they're beautiful. You've got white, uh, the white ABs in the water here. Some, nope, I'm looking at her hair. A little bit up here, just the highlight. Uh, one is going to be all in this red coral. Anywhere you see this red coral, you got one in it. And that's that red AB. There's coral down at the bottom. And here you got one uh, all in that coral. Two is green. Two, two, two. Where is my two? It looks to be a light lime green. Okay. I bet that's it. Yep. It's in this greenery in the water, kind of in the veins of the, I don't know if this is sea algae, whatever it is. But that's where your twos are going to be. Three is purple. Um, ah, okay. So you have what looks to be an octopus tentacle here. I'm looking, it may just be octopus tentacles. And you've got, it's what's interesting about this is you've got octopus tentacles all around the border of this painting. But I can't see the octopus. Can anybody see the octopus's head? I, I don't see it. It's just kind he's of. He's looking at her. Yeah, he's looking at her, ready to grab her or something. I don't, maybe she's looking at him going, oh crud, there's an octopus. I need to get out of here. But that is where your threes are going to be are in these octopus tentacles that are surrounding it. That's interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh, four. Come on. There's got to be. Yep. There's four in her hair, all in the blue in her hair. Um, some around here in the water, in the bottom, down here. Oh, okay. I was wondering what this was, but you can, I can now tell it's a Looks like a like a Siamese fighting fish. Some of these fish are freshwater fish, and I know mermaids are in the ocean and that's salt water, but you know, just go with it. It is part of the imagination and the art. So we're just gonna go with that, okay? Uh, <laughs> so that's where all your ABs are gonna be in this one. This is a stunner. I mean, every time I think Dakota Dateweiler can't get any better, here you go. I mean, I just, I can't even, um, begin to tell you how beautiful this is. And I'm so glad, you know, Katie is a speed diamond painter and I'm so glad she got this one done because I was looking to see how this would uh, play out the light on her back and on her face. And it looks fantastic. It really, really does. So that is Glass Mermaid and gave you a little bit of uh, history on how this was done and what Dakota did to get it done. And uh, when I found that out, I thought that was fascinating. All right, oh, I don't even want to put her away. It's so pretty. Uh, okay. Bye, Glass Mermaid. Another time, another day. All right. The next piece of this video, I do have notes on. These are my two giveaways. We have four giveaways today. And if you stick with me till the end of this video, I will tell announce the winners of the giveaway. Uh, we are giving away a sketchbook and journal um, that is from Dakota's Etsy shop. One page is blank, one page has lines. I, I have one and use it all the time with actually this image on it. Um, these journals have different images on them depending on what's in stock. There is also another giveaway is this, uh, I call it a coffee table book. It is a portfolio book uh, by Dakota Dateweiler. And as you can see on the inside cover, she has autographed it. So um, this will be a great uh, collector's piece for somebody that is a Dakota fan. So um, we also have Putty that um, Carissa has. And um, I will ask Carissa who donated the putty. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors for Dakotathon. We have so many. We had to have a Zoom call to divide out all the prizes. I mean, we just, we have a ton and our sponsors have been so good to us. And uh, Pam 
has two, hang on, two cover minders. Let's see, two cover minders and an enamel pin. You could put that pin on a lanyard or on your lapel or uh, if you're a pin collector, wherever you put your collector's pins. Um, that prize package, uh, Pam uh, has donated. She is uh, Pam Diamond Paintings, LLC. If you've not checked out her site, check that out. She's got some awesome diamond paintings too. So um, those are uh, giveaways. But we also have some other sponsors for this event that are giving away things and have kindly sent us um, items. I have ordered some of these things. Some of these things have been sent to me, but I wanted to showcase them and show you the Dakota swag that you can get. Um, if you have not joined the Dakotathon Facebook group, join it. Thank you guys that have joined. We have over a thousand people in our group already. That's how many Dakota fans and excited people there are out there. Uh, but that's where we'll talk about our sponsors. I'm going to have some of the sponsors on some of my lives, so it'll be super fun. Um, but this is a tumbler. This is Amber Riley's crafts. Hang on. Um, she is on Facebook and these guys, I will link and list all of the things that I'm mentioning here below. So you can get to those shops and find these items because I do want to spotlight our sponsors, but she is Amber Riley's crafts on Facebook. And I, oh, I saw this tumbler and I thought I got to have it. That's why I have so much to unbox for you today because I want to keep it out of the box and use it. Check out this tumbler. It does come, I love this because it's earth friendly. It comes with two straws. She's She has just done a great job of, of wrapping this up. It comes with a heavy duty plastic straw and a metal straw. I believe it's an aluminum straw. Both of these are reusable so you're not throwing things away and it's earth friendly. Can they see it? The, the, oh, the tumbler. Okay, it says diamond painting is my therapy and she's got diamonds scattered all over the top and the bottom. And as you can see at the bottom, she has custom done this for Dakotathon. And so she's got Dakotathon all the way around the top and the bottom. I will definitely start drinking my Diet Dr. Pepper out of this one. So that is uh, my first piece of Dakota swag. All right, what do we have next? You have seen these, but I could not let this go without thanking Bella Art Day Nicole. Bella Art Day Nicole is doing our event trays for the event. Um, when you get the tray, the camera is not even going to do this color justice. It is a fabulous color. Um, it has hashtag Dakotathon on the side. The lid comes off, and I love this. It's divided up into three sections. These section dividers do come out. Uh, I don't want to take them out because I'll struggle and all that, but um, you can put three colors in. You can put two colors in or just take the dividers out totally. It does come with a funnel and a stopper, and um, you've got a lid to where if you're working on one section and kind of want to keep your drills from coming out, you can slide the lid on. So that is great. Thank you, Bella Art Day Nicole. Uh, she sent us each one of these and is donating five of these for giveaways. So that is absolutely gorgeous. She does have these ready to go for purchase on her site, as do all of these sponsors. So go check them out. Okay. This one I want to see. Okay. This one says thank you, I think. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this one is from Diane. Diane is from Bistro Blanks, okay? Oh my gosh. I am, okay. So I got two cover minders. Look at the crab and the googly eyes and the mermaid tail that is perfect for this event. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's open up this pen from Bistro Blanks. Now, Bistro Blanks is an Etsy shop. I again will link her below. You can have a pen custom made, and I have been dying to open this. I have not opened it. I wanted to open it on camera for you guys to get my first reaction. I had this custom done uh, for Dakotathon, but she does have ready-made pens ready to go. Uh, go check her out. Oh, 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 <gasps> Okay, look at this pen. I told her I wanted, she she said, do you want pictures? Do you want charms? Do you want little, and I said, just throw a little of everything in there. I'm a Gemini, so, you know, I like a variety of things, <laughs> asked Marlon. Um, someone says coffee or tea, and I'm like, both. I like both. 
Um, but she did look at that. It's a mermaid charm, a seahorse charm. She's got a starfish, a picture. There's some more of your octopus or kraken tentacles. And look what she did here. I don't know if the camera can catch this. It's like bubbles that are bubbling in the water. That That's phenomenal. That was done on, I mean, it looks like bubbles, like you're under the water. And down here, she's got coral, sea life. Oh my gosh. And then that's the back of the pen. I love this, Diane. Thank you so much. She put in um, a couple of multi-placers. Uh, I love Bistro Blanks pens. Use them all the time. She's got a wide variety of stuff. I mean, this is, uh, I'm trying to think. I think my Bistro Blank pen is actually out where I'm diamond painting, but I do have another one back here if I can get it, get it out of the holder. This is one she did for me when I was um, doing Beat the Heat with Nicole, and she did one for each of us with our names in the sand. This is the same company. I, I just, I cannot say enough about Bistro Blanks. I love using their pens. I'm actually using one that is, of course, steampunk, because you know I love steampunk. Uh, saw one that Pam got, which is a sunflower and butterfly one that I'm like, oh, I may have to have it. But unbelievable, Diane. I love it. So she's got uh, pens and stuff ready to go for Dakotathon. So go check out her. I will uh, link Bistro Blanks down in the description. She is an Etsy shop. Oh, I love this pen. And it is a thicker pen, um, but I also, I'm a weight person. Uh, the thickness of a pen doesn't really bug me. It's the weight. And these pens have a lot of detail and a lot of items uh, with them, but they're not heavy. They're nice and light. Um, if the pen's too heavy, I don't use it. But, oh, I love her pens. Love, love, love. One of my favorite shops. Thank you so much, Diane. I love it. Okay. There's some goodies here. Oh, I cannot wait to show you this. This is a honeycomb pen holder. Hang on. This is... Wait, wait, wait. This is Sasha's 3D printing. Uh, she is giving away a gift card and two large honeycomb pen holders. I saw this and had to have it. Uh, she's a 3D uh, printing company as well. But again, she's Sasha's 3D printing. She, I believe, is also on Facebook that you can order from her. Oh, look, look at this. I hope you're having as much fun as I am looking at these goodies. So this is a honeycomb and look, it's like, it's a rainbow. I love rainbow as well. Um, it says Queen Sasha on the front because again, that's her business. I love this and it really does. She's really wrapped this well, got a lot of bubble wrap inside these honeycombs, but um, that will be awesome to hold your pens, you know, so unbelievable thank you sasha's 3d printing i also got a goodie bag from her with cover minders and washi tape and oh these people are so good um remember to thank our sponsors because they're just they're amazing people support their shops uh they do a great job and have just been so supportive of us um uh, bistro blanks is i want to tell you about the giveaway so sasha's 3d printing is giving away uh, a gift card and two of her large honeycomb pen holders. This is a large, so you're seeing what the giveaways are. She's going to give away two of these. Um, that is amazing. Um, I've already talked to you about Bella Art Day Nicole. They are doing event trays and they are doing five uh, trays for giveaways, one for each week and one for the give uh, one for the grand prize. And then Tumblr. Amber Riley's Crafts is giving away two of these tumblers. So again, these these are just very, these people are taking money out of their businesses to do these giveaways. So make sure you're going and patronizing these folks. And again, I'll link them below so you don't have to remember. My last unboxing is another diamond painting pen. This is Leopard Leatherworks. And... She's got her business card in here, and here's all of, and you know, I'm gonna, I'll hold it up in case you want to take a screenshot of that. Um, owner is Carrie Costello, and she is Leopard Leatherworks. She is on Facebook, and um, she is on Instagram as well. 
Uh, I will be putting her information for ordering also underneath. She did another beautiful pen. I did not get with her until late on this pen, but I mean, it's stunning. I, I, I have to tell you, I cheated and looked at this, but look at this pen. How gorgeous is that? She's got one that she does in blue and white and green and white. Is that good? Look, it's, oh, it's so smooth too. Um, and you can put a multi-placer in the top if you'd like. I, I love it. I just, these pens are, these pens are unbelievable. I, you know, it's like, which one do you use first? I don't know. I'm going to have to eeny, meeny, miny, mow it. I don't know. Um, thank you so much, Carrie at Leopard Leatherworks. Um, she is giving away a pen as a giveaway for our prizes. So thank you to all these sponsors. I wanted you to see some of these things in person so you could get excited about the giveaways. And if you are interested, go patronize some of these businesses that are so supportive. Now, this is not all. So as I get things, because I know there are a few things in the mail coming, um, I know Nick's Notions. God, I love me some Nick's. Um, Nick's Notions is also uh, doing some giveaway trays. So when I get her tray, I will be showing that as well. Uh, but I will be listing these businesses. Bistro Blanks, Bella Art Day Nicole, Amber Riley's Crafts, Sasha's 3D Printing, Leopard Leatherworks, and also um, when the enhancement kits come in, let us, let's not forget one of our main sponsors and she is just, she sponsors so many events and that is Tina DP with Sparklers. Thank you guys so, I can't say thank you enough to all these folks. So um, it has been so much fun getting to unbox these with you. Now, what you are interested in, giveaway time. Speaking of giveaways, we, I mean, we have so many prizes to give away. We're going to just be giving away things 24-7. Uh, you know, we did that Zoom call and I said, are we going to be able to breathe? There are so many generous businesses out there that gave us stuff and just prizes to give away. But on our last, this was two weeks ago. Yes, Kara has been a slacker. However, life has happened. My aunt passed away and then I had the retreat. So I am so sorry this has been delayed. But never fear. I have not forgotten. You will get your prizes. So um, I had Carissa pick a number. I had Pam pick a number. I picked a number and Marlon picked a number. And uh, we went through the comments on the, um, on the last live. And on the last live, we asked you to comment after the live was over what Dakota painting is out there that you wish was a diamond painting? And we got a lot of cool answers. Uh, I enjoyed reading all of the responses, and I did read all of them. All right, so we have, for the first prize we are giving away, we are giving away this beautiful portfolio book signed by Dakota Dateweiler. The winner of this book, and I will be getting it in the mail to you, so please email me at thepriciplepainter at gmail.com. Um, I will also, I, you know, my email's everywhere. Um, I feel like I'm the girl with a phone number on the bathroom wall with my email. So make sure you email me with your address so I can get this mailed to you. I cannot mail these things to you without you guys responding. So the principal painter at gmail.com. That's my email. Um, I will also put it in the description below so you don't forget the winner of this beautiful portfolio book signed by Dakota Dateweiler is none other than Meredith Taylor. Meredith Taylor, woo woo! Congratulations, Meredith. We will be getting this to you as soon as you email me with your uh, address that I can get this to you. Congratulations, Meredith, woo hoo! The journal, the journal will be going to none other than Miss Sherilyn Dickerson. Sherilyn Dickerson, you are the winner of the journal and art book, uh, uh, sketchbook. I will be getting this to you. Sherilyn, make sure you email me with your name and your address so that I can get this out to you. Congratulations, Sherilyn. Woohoo! All right. We have also, and I don't have them with me because Carissa has the two putties and uh, Pam has the two cover minders and the pen from Dakota's Etsy shop. So the two putties, the winner of the two putties is Bonnie Nelson. Bonnie Nelson, woohoo! Go ahead and email me. I know that uh, Carissa has those, but I need everybody to email me. It's just easier to email one central person so you don't have to remember who to email. Email me, again, the principal painter at gmail.com with your address, and we will get that putty to you. 
The last prize, the last winner. Are you ready, Marlon? Are you ready? This is it. I know you're ready. <laughs> the last prize is two cover minders and the uh, enamel pin from Dakota's shop that Pam has. Again, you're going to email me. I'll get Pam and Carissa the addresses so they can mail your prizes to you. Kylie Pickler. Kylie Pickler, you won. Yay! Marlon's going to sleep back there. He's been back there for a while. All right. So that is my video on all things Dakota. Uh, I will be going live tonight at six o'clock. Hope to see everybody there. And uh, thank you for sticking with me through this. I've had lots of fun unboxing for you. And I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter and I am signing off.